Hi guys, thank you for clicking on my video today. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, then thank you for stopping by. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, thank you for coming back. It really means a lot. So in today's video, we will be going over my monthly budget or my budget for my monthly income. So my job, which pays once a month. So let's zoom you in. That's a bit much. There we go. So, I got paid on the 18th and I got paid £1,012.84. I have allocated £212.84 towards my bills. So, as you can see, my bills obviously total more than what I've allocated towards bills but I do budget £8 or £7.50 it alternates every week from my weekly income job um, that builds up and it builds up to more than that every month as well as I do get I think it's £28 from my mum um, towards my Apple Watch, which I do pay as part of my £61.30 EE payment um, because it was a Christmas present. Um, but because I wanted it linked to my phone, it had to go through my bank account um, with my account. So um, she does pay for that bill. So it does total more than that. So that's how much I have allocated. Moving on now to my sinking funds or my savings. So I am going to be putting £100 into my savings. That is a digital savings and it is a no touch savings. In the past, it wasn't a no touch savings before I started my budgeting journey and everything with cash stuffing and sinking funds. That was the only savings I had. It would build up. I would see a nice big chunk of money there and then I would go and spend it. Um, so I'm in the mindset now that that is my no touch savings unless there was like an extreme emergency or something and I did have to dip into that which is fine but that is my no touch savings and then I am putting £100 into my car bill savings um, so I put one, £100 a month into that savings and then when it comes to pay my insurance my tax to have a service um, to pay for my MOT I have money set aside ready for that. So we are putting £200. Had to put tip X because I wrote this too high up. So we're putting £200 into my sinking funds. I've decided that I'm going to start giving myself a little bit more spending money. So I normally give myself, or I have been since I've started this journey, £10 a week spending which for my day-to-day -day spending is more than enough because I don't go shopping every day. Where I live, there aren't many shops, <laughs> if any. I do live in a small town, um, but online shopping <laughs> is my downfall. Amazon is my best friend um, for all the wrong reasons. So I've decided to give myself every month from my, for, for the next few months £100 and I've transferred that to a separate bank account that I have um, if I want to do any online shopping. I'm going to try and not to spend that money. It's going to be there in case I want to buy something. So at the end of the month, whatever's left of this money, I will either do an extra debt payment or I will take it out and cash stuff that money into my sinking funds. I've not decided. It depends how much that is, there's left. Um, but that money is there in case I want to spend it because I know myself, if I give myself too tight of a budget and my budget has to be tight for my sinking funds and my cash envelopes from my weekly income because I only make about £140 a week. So it needs to be tight for that reason. It has to be, I have to have set amounts, but I want to avoid spending ridiculous amount of money on my credit card my credit card will be for emergencies only or to spend and then I can pay straight away back from my cash envelopes or from my sinking funds 
for certain things so we're gonna see how that goes obviously in the future if i do move out when i do move out i won't be able to do that but i might do slightly less each month up until then to see how it goes but for now for the next few months i will be giving myself 100 pound to spend so yeah that was a bit of a <laughs> that was a bit of a rant but there we go that is that is my plan moving on to my debt i will be making a or i have made already a 500 pound payment on my credit card so we're gonna total up all of these totals now so we have 1,012 pounds and 84 pence minus the 212 pounds and 84 for my bills minus the 200 for my sinking funds minus the 100 for my digital spending leaves us with 500 pounds which is my credit card payment which we've got nothing left over this week um for my buffer down the bottom here we have additional income so we have m for my mum n for my nan and work expenses for my phone which is 10 pounds so these both go in at the end of the month and so does this so this is the 28 pound for my watch which hasn't gone in yet my nan does like to give her, all of the grandkids a little bit of money every month that money i do take out to use for my hair cut and my nails cash envelope and then my work expenses for my phone that is 10 pounds um to offset 10 pounds from my ee bill because i do pay my my work phone contract uh, myself and then i just get reimbursed that was the easiest for um where i work to do which is completely fine with me so that is my monthly budget for for January, <laughs> I was concentrating, trying to zoom you out there. That is my monthly budget for January 2022. So I'm happy with that budget. We're going to see how my digital spending allocation goes. We only have a couple more months of paying off my credit card, which is amazing. So yes, I'm happy with that. Thank you for sticking with me if you have till the end through my little rants about my digital savings, but we'll see how it goes. So thank you so much for watching my video today. I really appreciate it. If you did like, please consider hitting that like button down below. And if you want to keep up to date with my budgeting journey, consider hitting that subscribe button as well. I'd really appreciate it. So thanks for watching. Bye.